Meanwhile, a Daly City couple is beaming tonight. They're the proud parents of a healthy but incredibly rare baby boy. See, he has six fully formed and functional fingers and toes on his hands and feet. His parents asked KTVU Health and Science Editor John Fowler to tell their story. John? You really need to see these pictures. It's called polydactyly, extra digits. Not an uncommon genetic trait, but Bay Area doctors tell me so far they've never seen a case so dramatic. Born at San Francisco's St. Luke's Hospital three weeks ago, baby Kamani Hubbard seemed so perfect at birth, no one noticed. The nurses and doctors, it looks so normal. They couldn't tell. They told me he was six pounds in good health, and that was all they said. But his dad noticed this spectacularly rare case of polydactyly. Six perfect fingers on each hand, six perfect toes on each foot. The general trait runs in his family. Some family members have had uh, um, the six fingers, but not completely developed, but not the toes. In fact, Hubbard himself had nubs of sixth fingers removed as a child, as these non-functional digits routinely are. But this case, doctors say, is so vanishingly rare, so functional, it's not a deformity to be discarded. It's merely a, an interesting and beautiful variation rather than a worrisome thing. St. Luke's pediatrician Michael Treese. I would be very tempted to leave those fingers in place. I realize that children will tease each other over the slightest things and having extra digits on each hand is more than slight. But imagine what sort of a pianist a 12-fingered person would be. Imagine what sort of a flamenco guitarist. If nothing else, think of their typing skills. Kamani's mother says she hasn't had time to absorb this yet. His specialness didn't even show up on prenatal ultrasounds. I heard nothing until I gave birth, so I'm still in shock, kind of. I just want him to just, you know, see what greatness it will be in store for him. One current big league pitcher, a modern blues guitarist, and several remarkable figures in history have all had polydactyly. Now, this little guy may, at the very least, help others grasp the importance of embracing differences. Reporting live, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU Channel 2 News.